And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some plunder control. So the next deck for rank up Sunday, this is another really good deck. Basically all bilge water, um, getting all the, the different burn cards with bilge water and then some PNZ splashing in here for Mystic Shock, Static Shock, and Thermogenic Beam. All good cards to go along with Powder Kegs which we can have the Dreadway Deckhand, the Petty Officer, and then of course our Gangplanks making some Powder Kegs. Changing one thing up, we're adding a Dreadway in here um, to help us give us a little bit more top end besides just the Riptide Rexes. This card is incredible and you know can draw a Gangplank for us and then double all damage dealt by our skills, spells, and allies. So now Static Shock you know, will be doubled, Mystic Shock, you know, all that stuff will be doubled. Even Riptide Rex will do four damage to each target with the cannon barrages with the Dreadway in play. All right, so let's let's uh, give this one a try. I did also kind of want to put in, I guess I should have done this before hitting record, but I did kind of want to put in one Monkey Idol in here as a Monkey Idol is just a way to make sure that our Gangplank leveled up super fast. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what I would put that monkey idol in four so we'll just get to the games we'll see if we find anything that we don't really like that we can put one monkey idol in because monkey idol is not a card that i would want like a ton of but it'd be nice to have sometimes on turn three that will level up gangplank super fast and also just get more and more nexus damage in this deck can really do a lot of nexus damage between all the warning shots and um everything. Let's just keep this hand. I am going turn one, warning shot, Jagged Butcher. So t in order to make room for the Dreadway, I cut the third Thermogenic Beam. So we are only playing two Thermogenic Beams. See if they go Misfortune. I can have Mystic Shots to take down Misfortune. That's fine. Hey, Bipolar, the ranking up's going pretty good. Three and two, both decks so far. Nice 60% win rate. We'll take three and twos all day. That's what you get all the time. We'll be doing a good job of ranking up. Ooh, Repose could be nice. All right, time to use one Thermogenic Beam while it's doing the three damage. It is unfortunate that I don't have Repost and Mystic Shot available for the next turn. All right, so that just turned into a one mana three one basically. Want to just use that Ranger's Resolve. Kind of test to see if they have another Ranger's Resolve. I hope not. Yep, it's got three Riptide Rex in it. So yeah, it, uh, as far as Plunder goes, it has Black Market Merchant, Yordle Grifter, and Riptide Rex. Um, but yeah, it's basically just a, a deck with a ton of damage. 
Um, you know, a bunch of Nexus damage in particular. All right, well, that does, that does make my life a lot worse. But now I have more information regarding my blocking. Like, I'm not going to have my 3-3 block the Clear off. their 3-3, for example. I think I'm just going to do this. We'll take six. We're doing just fine. They, they only have three cards left. We got four. We got the salvage. It'll get us some more. Ooh. That's a good one to nab. Smell that? A bite to cook it. That's going to be pretty good. Um, I really wish I could play two spells this turn, but I just can't. So I guess maybe I'd play Genevieve Elmhart in that respect. Just what is this going to be? Because like if I play Genevieve Elmhart, you know, like they can challenge like my two one, and then it does make the rest of their attacks kind of poor. So yeah, I think I just play the Genevieve Elmhart. Because, like, if I go Yordle Grifter and then we miss, or if I steal something that costs four or more, we're going to be in real trouble. Okay. We're back to being in real trouble. I'm sorry. With that repost. Back to being in real trouble. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Good news is they are, you know, kind of out of cards. Like this is, you know, kind of all they have. So we just got to figure out how to deal with all of this. Usually, Riptide Rex is a big part of that. You are not Riptide Rex. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Grizzle Ranger. The quiet of the woods. There's nothing like it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Slow down, will you? Yep. GG's. Harvey, are you not very happy that we lost? Harvey doesn't seem very happy that we lost. <laughs> yes, we lost, Harvey. We're 0 and 1. Yeah, their hand was awesome, for sure. I. I think that's going to be a matchup that we're, like, that's a matchup that we're pretty favored in. <clears throat> the two Rangers resolves were awesome, and yeah, their hand was just, their hand just in general was awesome. So, GG's. Swain Twisted Fate. This one is pretty 50-50. Leviathan is a card that can be very problematic. I don't think any of these are mulligans. What's up, Riptide Rex? Would have been nice to have you last game. Probably should have gone Warning Shot, Black Market Merchant last turn. I 
I will take that spray fin. Thank you. I must get out of here. Spray fin's a good one. Ravenous flock as well. Thank you again. Just getting set up. <laughs> yeah, Harvey did not like those Demacia cards. Not like them too much at all. That's what I wanted. So this sets up this sets up a perfect twisted fate if they don't go straight to combat. Double pay for the next kill. One good turn. Hey, of course they do go straight to combat. Still got a red card. That's not a very good twisted fate, though. Keep up, keep up. Could have been a lot better. So I'd assume a gold card would kill my Twisted Fate, not kill the Spray Fin, I would assume. But not sure. So daring. A little poro so daring. Pretty fast way to level up Twisted Fate. Game planks at three. Yes, at three. And Twisted Fate's also at three. Okay, ready. So I'm going to be using my warning shot here because we have the Yorl Grifter that's going to create a new warning shot for Riptide Rex anyway. So we're going to go warning shot, um, Black Marker Merchant, Yorl Grifter. That's the plan. Nice 
Keep up, keep up. Hmm, that card's good. I'm not greedy. My friends don't. Yeah. Speaking of cards that are good. Leviathan. Leviathan is a 5-8. If I just go Riptide Rex right now. Yeah, we'll basically see what they do. If they play Leviathan, I Riptide Rex and kill it. If they don't, they do other stuff, then we'll maybe play our, our Leviathan. So we'll let them act first, and that's what going to combat allowed. when victory is at stake. So Dread Dreadway Deckhand's Powder Keg would just be used by the Leviathan. I'm just going to save that spell mana for Thermogenic Beam, honestly. That's what we're going to do here. That stuns Leviathan. Oh, wait, we already dealt damage to them. Yeah, we nabbed a Leviathan. Unfortunately, it is dead. Oh, poor Leviathan. I guess I could have dealt two damage with that warning shot, but I don't know. I felt like holding on to the warning shot. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. So this is doing two damage to both of them. This was down to seven. Something for all. Still have those four cards plus the warning shot over there. We don't know what they have, but if they have a, a Riptide Rex of their own for next turn, it could in. certainly be a problem. Yeah, that one's kind of a problem. Down to three. 
And I have Mystic Shot and Warning Shot, and they're at three. So I feel pretty good about this one. Don't think we'll lose this one. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Alright, GG's. Hey, Broken Arrow. Alright, back to one and one. Outplayed. On pace for three and two. On pace for three and two. That's the goal. I think Demos or, uh, Harvey went in the other room after that loss to the Demacia deck. She wasn't happy. <laughs> she went in the other room. All right, more plunder decks. This time we have Gangplank and Sejuani for the champions. Going to mulligan the Dreadway and keep these. So we have seven total PNZ cards, so that's two. So there's only five more. It is good getting them out of the deck for whenever we have Yordle Grifters. Oh, you're back, Harvey? You're back. It's hard for me to get the dog some FaceTime. See Harvey? There she is. See? There's Harvey. No, Karina, Karina Control is not very good. Um, Karina Control is great at doing, like, one damage to stuff and, and killing a bunch of small units and that's not really what um, is necessary these days. There's a lot of larger units than just being able to sweep up a bunch of one health ones. Down. Nothing escapes my watch. For the homestead. Averroes and Sentry is awesome. I want to do this to keep them from doing damage to me because Sejuani and Gangplank both level up with damage dealt. I want to keep them from doing damage. I'm going to be going Twist of Fate blue card. And so with blue card, <clears throat> it's nice to cast that Mystic Shot so we actually gain the extra mana. And now we'll have like the two mana for something like Make It Rain. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. Soak it in. Yeah. <laughs> There's another one! 
So now we can have Gangplank and have a Powder Keg and have the Mega Rain with the Powder Keg. So that's pretty cool. Don't know if that will be too necessary, but... Alright, they're finally dealing some damage to us. Our best card is like Yordle Grifter, probably. Babbling Bjork's a good one. It does make me want to... I kind of want to Thermogenic Beam that Babbling Bjerg. Okay. Seemed like an unnecessary Powder Keg on their part. Like my Powder Keg was just doing two dam- you know, now it's just doing one damage, but it was still going to kill all those anyway. Mm. Not the best one to nab. Not the best one to nab. It's an awkward hand for now, but once we get to turn 8, our hand will start being great. Oh, hey, Masters. Awesome. Glad to hear. Coming over from YouTube, created a Twitch account just to, to join the stream. That, that is great. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we got a discounted warning shot. Oh, we got drew another warning shot? Oh, great. I only have two warning shots in my deck, because it's something that I don't want to flood on. So there's only two, not three. Fortunately, we've drawn both of them. So it's not ideal, but we've drawn drawn both of our warning shots. Alright, so I'm casting one right now. Simply so I can um, have my Gangplank at 4 out of 5. So now next next turn, whenever I Warning Shot again, it will be 5 out of 5. And a level up. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. <laughs> You're not targeting that game point at all. Yeah, that was not a very good cannon barrage for us. Yeah, they have their own. Oh, theirs is a lot better, I would have to say. What if I should have just done the warning shot and then attack with Gangplank first? That's probably what I should have done. Just go warning shot, level up Gangplank, attack. That would have taken out a couple of things. We're gonna have Rex afterwards. That's what I should have done. Well, doing Thermogenic Beam on the Babbling Bjerg doesn't really help. We are... No, Static Shock's what I need to draw. It's going for Static Shock or uh, Make It Rain.
So I think that gangplank attack, I think I just did the wrong... I think I did the wrong thing. Yeah, hindsight and everything. Because our Riptide Rex was horrible. It dealt all that damage to the Powder Keg, where I could have attacked and just gotten that Powder Keg out, out of there anyway. And then our Riptide Rex would have been much, much better. Yeah, Rex is really good. That could be a card that, that they could nerf. Definitely. So I don't think I'll have time for Salvage. We're going to mulligan that one. Powder Keg is vulnerable to... Um, to Overwhelm units. Can be a problem at times. Yes, I, I consider... Um, Gangplank to be better than Ezreal. Yep. Yeah, I think um, Ezre or, uh, Gangplank puts a lot more pressure on them. This deck doesn't really have like all the spells to um, really be a great Ezreal deck. Yeah, I've once switching over to Gangplank, which which was a, a viewer submitted thing. Once switching over there, found a lot more success with this deck. So I'm happy. I'm happy for that block. That's perfectly fine. I'm a little surprised the four three didn't challenge the O one. To be honest. Hmm. All right, five four. How do I want to deal with that? Unclear. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. That's a great one to take. That is true. I'm not much of an Ezreal person, though, to be fair. That is true. So maybe I'm not the best one to ask. play Static Shock this turn, but I guess we can do Static Shock next turn. We're going to use Static Shock to kill the Basil Rider and the Precious Pets. That does take up most of my turn. Wow. Really? We got Transfusion, I guess? No, they're just willing to let that happen? <clears throat> Alright, that's fine. We could harrowing this turn and then start dropping Riptide Rexes after this. Yeah, because they're harrowing. Uh, 
Oh no. Why do you make the powder keg? Yeah, that's bad. Uh, that's gotta be game. That's gotta be game. I mean, I can't. Yeah, because like these are like my best blockers. Yep. Ugh. I need this to block. That powder keg cost me this. It's too bad. We're one and three. Not going so good. Large overwhelm units are good against small amounts of damage. That's what I had there. Hmm. Not going so good. Darius just, you know, being 10, you know, just turns into 10 power with that overwhelm. Yeah, I yeah, I like the with the Legion Grenadier, I I think it's I like it better how it is, like with the one Nexus damage of being a three two. I think it's pretty strong. I'm gonna send the other thermogenic beam back. I want one to be able to kill... Okay. I want one to be able to kill... Um, Teemo right away. Uh, it seemed like that was probably going to be a good matchup for us. Teemo, Twisted Fate seems like a deck filled with smaller things, which would be good for us. Oh, sorry, core deck. I guess I missed it then. So not counting that one, of course, we're just still one and three. That's not going to go on the ledger either way. Wonder if Dreadway Deckhand just isn't any good. It it really hasn't been playing good for us. Like it, it really hasn't. Petrosite, protect me. Time to get my hands dirty. Maybe Dreadway Deckhand's not any good. It's great with Make It Rain, of course. But it's just the games that you don't have Make It Rain. What's it doing? Now that is an incredible trade for us, and if I'm them, I'm never making that trade. But I, that is, in, yeah, that's incredible for us. Alright, this powder cake will just die. Track them down. But yeah, that's in, that's incredible, trading R two drop for Mage Seeker, Investigator. Alright, go on blue card and try to draw some new cards. I suppose so. So good. I forgot. 
forgot they're an Ezreal deck. You'll go no farther. Two of these cards, like these two right here, are the six mana plus spells. That was the that was the card they just drew. We know that. My four challenger. Both those cards would have been really good right here. So I make it rain, they play Radiant Guardian. What's my plan? My plan is then Black Market Merchant. Won't have the mana for Thermogenic Beam. They play Lux. They am like attacking maybe. Just our first time to deal damage to them. Next turn, I'm going to play Gangplank and then Thermogenic Beam. Kill the Radiant Guardian. We can do this. Or I could kill Lux. Right now. And then next turn, Riptide Rex kill. Radiant Guardian, even though it does eat a lot of the warning shots, but... Um, we have 9 mana? Yeah, we gotta get rid of Lux. Definitely. And I do like doing that now, before... Um... Before they can play a six mana spell in response to my Riptide Rex. Play whatever for protection. So, one Lux down, one Radiant Guardian down, another Radiant Guardian stolen. That's basically all we've seen from them from real threats so far. Um, also, one remembrance down. Two of those mage seekers gone. The Vanguard stand as one. That's a good card for Swiftwing Lancer to create. That's a very good card. 
That's maybe the best card, honestly. That probably is. That probably is the best card. So basically that one Remembrance created the two... ...cards. Don't blink, or you miss me. Be nothing left when I'm done. Cavalry to the field. Best run while you can. Hoping this works. Probably not a very high probability of this working against against an Ezreal deck. Can't stop me. But I was open. I fight for the fallen. We no, we haven't drawn Dreadway at all. We did see the Dreadway one time in an opening hand that we mulliganed. But I haven't drawn it at all. Safety will cost you. Cool. That Aurora Porealis was, of course, created by the... Um, I mean, that's another good one. That's it. That was created from the one drop. They've been creating some very good random cards. Yeah, I decided to go with the Dreadway today. Let's start to give it. We should too. Hmm. Not enough to kill either of these other two. But dealing some damage to them. That's great. That's gonna level up Lux. That could be Radiant Guardian, could be Riptide Rex. We'll have to see. Aurora Porealis is quite the random card to create with Lux, that's for sure. Lots of life. Do your worst. Let's put him down to three. No. Hmm. 
Another tough unit. Down to two. We're getting close. We're getting close. Of course, Twisted Fate can do one. Um, we could have... Okay. We have the Powder Keg. Twisted Fate, they could do two. Now we have this Make It Rain also. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. Alright, make it rain. Or do they have removal for the O1? I think we should be able to... Like, I'll be surprised if we don't win this. Because they have to somehow stop make it rain. Okay, they had an answer there. And then they somehow have to stop this Twisted Fate. I don't really know how they can. But then they also have to stop the Gangplank attack ability. I don't know how they're stopping all of these. Something for all. Okay, there we go. Two and three. This will do for now. All right, so not the record that we were hoping for. Hoping for, of course, the three, two. Um. Didn't quite work out for us. I'd say that the Dreadway Deckhand didn't look that great most of the time. Maybe it's just not a three of. You know, like maybe maybe that's where we can take one of these out. Uh, maybe put in a Monkey Idol instead. I think that's what I want to do is get rid of a, a Deckhand and put in a Monkey Idol. There's just so many times where this is just like two mana, two, two, and the Powder Keg wasn't very good. Um, it's obviously, you know, great if you can have Make It Rain, but it's just, it's difficult to pull off. And Monkey Idol, I think, is really underrated in Gangplank decks of being able to deal damage. You know, you get the three Powder Monkeys. They're good at blocking, right? Like, when you have Powder Monkey, it's really tough for your opponent to attack because they don't want to attack into Powder Monkey. It's just going to be dying at end of turn anyway. And then, of course, it's a great attacker as well. You get those three um, Nexus damage things, which is great for Gangplank. It's great for Riptide Rex later on. Yeah, I like Monkey Idol. That's a good card. Jaw Hunters is also a really good card. It's also just an underrated card. That's a really good removal spell that creates that sea monster, so you have some extra um, stuff to do in the late game. And then you know sometimes your sea monster can obliterate champions. Sometimes your sea monster can um, be elusive and draw you a whole bunch of cards. Sometimes your sea monster can get you some treasures. Jaw Hunters is also awesome. Maybe we should play some draw hunters in here. But anyway, there we go. That's plunder control. Those of you all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of Monkey Idol, Dreadway Deckhand, Jaw Hunters, all that kind of stuff. Anything about the new cards um, or anything else, feel free to leave those comments. But thank you so much for watching some plunder control, and I'll see you for the next video.